So, one of our customers has asked us to create a video that deals with figure 61 and 62 of the private pilot knowledge test. And we at Pilot Training Solutions like to answer our customers' requests as soon as we can. And I actually have to apologize for taking two days to answer the question, but we were incredibly busy putting together the final pieces of the iPad version of our software that you can now, by the way, buy on PassFAExams.com. So for all of you that have been waiting for our courses to be iPad friendly, go onto our website and enjoy learning with us on the go. Whether you use an iPad or an Android tablet, you're able to finally enjoy our software. Now let's take a look at these questions. And by the way, keep in mind that they were removed from the private pilot knowledge test a few years back, but they are still part of the ATP knowledge test. So it's probably good to know them. Okay, so let's look at an old question from the private written, which is still, by the way, part of the ATP written. The question refers you to figure 62 on the private book and 35 on the ATP book and asks, if 50 pounds of weight is located at point X and 100 pounds at point Z, how much weight must be located at point Y to balance the plank? And the possible answers are 30 pounds, 50 pounds, and 300 pounds. Now, in simple words, what needs to be done is to make the workforce, which you know as moment, that is applied on the left side of the plank, be equal to the workforce, or again moment, applied to the right side of the plank. As you should know from either physics or basic weight and balance calculations, the moment is equal to the weight times the distance of said weight from the datum line. So let's start from the right side. We can see that the total moment is 10,000, given by multiplying weight Z of 100 pounds by the distance of 100 inches. Now we know that the total moment we need on the left side must be the same, 10,000 pounds, if we want to balance the plank. So far, we only have two fives and 500, given again by multiplying the weight X of 50 pounds by its distance from the datum, which is 50 inches. Finally, the weight of Y multiplied by its distance of 25 inches needs to be equal to 7,500, which is the difference between 10,000 pounds on the right side and 2,500 on the left side. All we need to do is divide 7,500 by 25 to find out that our weight must be 300 pounds. So there you go. To balance the plank, we need 300 pounds at location Y. 300 pounds, answer C, is the correct answer. But what if the question gave us all three weights and asked us to shift one to balance the plank? Well, let's look at the next slide to solve that problem. Now, this question brings you to the same figure, but says, if 50 pound weights are located at points X, Y, and Z, how would point Z have to be shifted to balance the plank? And the possible answers are 2.5 inches to the right, 25 inches to the left, or 2.5 inches to the left. Well, the system is very similar to the one used in the previous slide. To balance the plank, we again need to make sure that the moment on the left side of the plank is the same as the right side. We know that we need to shift the weight on the right side. So to find out how much, let's calculate the moment of the left side first. Weight X's moment is given by multiplying 50, the weight, by 50, the distance, so 2,500. While weight Y's moment is given by multiplying 50 times 25, so 1,250. The total moment on the left side is 3,750, which needs to be equal to the right side. All we need to do is find out what number multiplied by 50, the weight on the right side, gives us 3,750. Therefore, let's divide 3,750 by 50, and there you have it. 75 inches is the distance Z needs to be located from the datum line. And since it was originally at 100 inches, it needs to be moved left 25 inches. So B, 25 inches, is the correct answer. And now let's take a look at a different figure. The other figure of interest is figure 61 of the private supplement book and 34 of the ATP supplement book. 
Now, this question and figure might seem a little more confusing, but in reality, the system to answer it is exactly the same as the one we just used to answer the other questions. The question says, how should the 250 pound weight be shifted to balance the plank on the fulcrum? And the answers are 2 inches to the right, 2 inches to the left, and 8.4 inches to the right. Now, first, you need to realize that the plank's center of gravity is not located on the datum line as it was before. So we need to treat the plank itself as an additional weight. And that's why I replaced it with a weight. That being done, like before, we need to make sure that the moment on the left of the fulcrum is the same as the one to the right of the fulcrum. Again, because we need to shift the weight on the right side, let's start calculating the moment from the left. The 500 pound weight's moment is 7,500, found by multiplying it by 15 inches. So the total moment on the left side of the fulcrum is 7,500, which again needs to be equal to the one on the right. Now, the plank is in a fixed position, so let's calculate its moment. 200 times 15 equals 3,000. Let's subtract that from the total moment of 7,500, and we are left with 4,500. Finally, let's find a number that multiplied by 250 gives us 4,500, and that will be the distance the weight to the right needs to be from the fulcrum. Like we did before, 4,500 divided by 250, 18 inches. Because the weight is 20 inches to the right, it needs to be moved 2 inches to the left. So answer B is your correct answer. And remember, if you're having trouble passing the written, you might want to learn the subjects rather than memorizing question and answer. That's what we're here for. Visit PassFAExams.com. All we focus on is getting you through the written, and we guarantee you're going to pass 100%.